I rent one bedroom in a house with three other people at the age of 35, foregoing a family of my own. And I only make a little bit more than your median teacher salary here in Washington, DC. So I'm giving up quite a lot to be that teacher that we think of, that neighborhood teacher. It's more of a slap in the face when I see how the mayor or the chancellor say they care about what teachers need or how they value our job given the circumstances on a day-to-day -day basis, but ignore teachers when they need new protections, new contracts, safe schools, and other concerns that have been left unheard. The parents are such excellent people and believe so strongly in their teachers. When we made our complaints known last year about our principal, their support was immediate and unmitigated. They believed us because they know us, understand what we do day in and day out for their children, and give us their trust. DCPS should try doing the same. The substitute duties, the coverage for LEAP and planning for other teachers, because I'm looked at as dispensable. We are constantly bringing our hearts to the table and they are broken and we have to beg to be heard, which is why we're in this meeting. What do humans do? Do you stay or do you try something new? In, in the bonus system, I don't even qualify for half of the bonuses that gen ed teachers qualify for. What message you are sending very clearly is that special ed teachers are just not worth it, and neither are our students. DCPS, we're challenging you today. We need something new.